Now, there's, there's, there's precious little practical applications of GPT-X at the moment. Uh, it's entertaining, that's for sure. It's, uh, you know, interesting to play with them. Uh, but like, is it actually useful? Like, can you use any of this for, I don't know, medical diagnosis? No, absolutely not. Um, you know, can you use it to uh, generate essays for students? Yeah, maybe. Like, can you use it as a, as a writing assistant? Um, as a journalist, I'm sure you, <laughs> you would be interested in that. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, you have to, you know, go back on it afterwards and correct the factual mistakes because there's going to be factual mistakes. But that might be useful. It's certainly very useful for writing code, right? So uh, things like uh, Copilot and and, and, and and things like that, where, you know, you, you start writing a, a function and the system basically, you know, fills it in. Um, so, you know, we, we have a prototype system at, at, uh, at FAIR that you, you might have heard of called Galactica that uh, does this for scientific publication, right? So you, you, you can start writing a paragraph for a scientific paper and it kind of, you know, automatically generates uh, 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 the, the proper command for a table of results and, and you know, references to the state of the art and, and things like that, right? Um, so uh, so I, I, there is some use for, for, for some of this technology and a lot of people have putting a lot of hope that there would be a lot of, you know, a lot of use. But as I said before, I do not think those systems in their current form can be fixed to uh, be kind of intelligent in, in ways that we expect systems to be intelligent, right? So the dialogue systems are entertaining. They're not very useful. To make them useful, you have to make them solve real problems for people. Like, you know, help them in their daily lives, like if, uh, if it were like a virtual assistant or something. And that is still completely out of reach. Uh, 